Hello friends, welcome to Puxy Tech. So today we're gonna see how to modify the application reconsolidation time mode in Argo CD, right? So why this is important? So if you are following Argo CD and you may know that how often your application is syncing your repositories uh, are, it's a main responsible for whatever the changes you are putting on your repository, let's say GitHub repository, and the Argo CD should listen that and it should apply the changes. If you are at set, you are sync as automatic, right? So that is the main goal. So same thing. So you may thought like, uh, see, I, I'm applying my changes and I have to wait for a long time or I'm waiting for more than a minute to get this app populated. So let's assume you are managing multiple uh, resources using Argo CD and your single repo is containing more than 10 or 20 changes for 20 objects, right? So in that time, so application sync will take a more time and it's wait for a long, right? But you may need to see your results very quicker and you want to see the changes, whatever you are committing that is populating directly or not, you have to see it, right? So that time, <clears throat> so you can't wait always. So that is one reason. So we may need to modify this uh, application reconciliation. Other reason is could be like if you are trying to establish your Argo CD at the enterprise level and you want to have it better performance. So this is consolidation also one of the key reasons. So you have to optimize it for the better performance, right? For this, both the reasons, so you may need to modify your reconciliation time mode, okay? So let's check. Uh, let's first check how we can see this. So uh, how we can how we can check. So let me show you the demo. So I'm running my AKS as a, I'm running Argo CD inside my AKS cluster and I have already set up my Argo CD. This setup things you are already having an Argo CD. Okay, Argo CD installed on any Kubernetes setup. Okay, so if you don't have, you can follow our previous session and you can try to install it. Okay, so all my objects inside the cube uh, <clears throat> Argo City namespace. So for that, I'm gonna get all the configuration map under the Argo City namespace. So you can see these all the name configuration maps I have, and I'm using a short command again. So if you wish to use pull, you can mention config maps. Okay, so let's quickly describe what data it contains. So I'm using a very default configuration. I'm not modified anything, only I'm just using this setup for demonstrating. So it has empty data, but when you are running with your organization level, so you may see some data is already populated. Either the, even the application reconciliation already may be set with a different number. You may need to modify, or it may not have the reconciliation configuration but other than other than that there is a multiple configuration those may be present under data section okay so here what is our goal we need to modify our reconciliation time mode, right how we can modify it so now we identified this is the this is the configuration file and doesn't have any data right so now let's do one thing quickly what we're gonna do we're gonna apply this change so for that i have already prepared a uh, config map file. So let me open the file first. Config map.yaml. You can see I'm setting a data here and also I have a time of reconciliation. This is a key value key and this is the value. So by default, it is 180 seconds. So I'm going to modify the time to 60 seconds. Okay. So because I want to change whatever the change I want to apply, I'm applying to the JIT, I want to see it quickly. Even you can set to 10 seconds, but based on number of repo you are using. If you're using a more repos, please be cautious on this because it may cause your performance issue. Okay, so let's quickly apply this. CD. <clears throat> All right, so now let's quickly describe it. Okay, so you can see there was no data and when we applied, the changes has been populated, right? So is it enough? No, 
the all the changes or the configuration things, whatever you are doing, it's completely related to your repo server in Argo CD. Okay. So which is nothing but if you go to the pods, you can see the pods here. It's part of a deployment. Let me quickly filter only Argo CD components here. And you can see there is a two repository servers will be here, right? This two is responsible for repository actions. All right. So even you can see into the deployments and you can see this details, right? So now we have done the changes. Now it's responsible for restarting it, right? So how you can restart our deployment? So let's say like a rollout. I'm going to do the rollout restart, deploy. And I have, we have seen the deployment name is Argo CD Server, right? And it's in Argo CD namespace. All right, that has been restarted and you could see quickly the changes. Okay, it's getting restart. So you can see the parts will be terminating and coming up one by one. Okay, so once you see it's came up, you could see the changes applied. And when you try to sync your application, so it will be whenever you commit any changes, it will quickly apply the changes within 60 seconds. Okay, so that's all for now, guys. Hope this video is useful. We'll see, try to cover more like this options, how you can modify it. So keep following us. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.